with us now is Darby Allen. And the first question will be from Joel Torres from Contralona, followed by Sean Radican of PW Torch. All right, hit me. Hi, Darby, how are you? So good to meet you. Um, first of all, congratulations on the, the match that you had tonight on, on AW Revolution with Sting. Um, what does it mean for you uh, to tag team with Sting, you know, making his return in pro wrestling and, you know, all this stuff that has happened between you guys in, in AEW? It means the world to me to uh, be teaming with Sting because to have any part of his legendary career, uh, especially possibly the tail end, is a huge thing. If I have anything to write that story, it's a, it's a complete honor. And we uh, did a lot of work. We busted our asses out there. Thanks, Darby. Um, up next is Sean Radican, followed by Gary Cassidy of Inside the Ropes. Hey, Darby, how are you? I'm uh, beautiful. Uh, you've gotten a chance to work with Sting and Taz in this program. Uh, a great blow off tonight. What was your experience like working with those two veterans and what are you gonna take away from it going forward? A lot of it goes into them trusting me and like seeing my vision. And, you know, we've been putting putting this work into about a year now with Team Taz and six months with Sting, you know, it's like me and Tony Khan just sticking to the vision and, you know, and them trusting my vision because like I, you know, I visualized a lot of this match tonight and them to uh, put it out there and, you know, not, not second guess my directing. You know, it meant a lot to me, you know. Yeah. I was gonna take a lot, a lot of it. They uh they had a lot to say during this whole process. Thanks, Darby. Up next is Gary Cassidy of Inside the Ropes, followed by Amy Nemedy. Hi Darby, how's it going? It's beautiful, my friend. Excellent. Congratulations on an incredible match. That was just outstanding to watch. What I want to ask, you know, it seemed like a a, a very close to what you would call a cinematic match. I know you've been involved in the creation of a lot of your vignettes and you talk about that creative freedom, getting to be Darby Allen in AEW, which you say you wouldn't get to do anywhere else. Just how involved were you in the creation of the match tonight? How much was you? How much was Sting? And what did the creation of it look like? I would say I was involved in 90% of it. I was doing damn near everything that night. We were, you know, a lot, a lot of work put into this and you know uh, i was up for weeks helping produce this so uh it was a lot it was a it was a good experience you know because my ass dropped out of film school so this was kind of a test to see my directing skills so it was fun i had a, I had a good time and then everybody trusting me and then you know ricky busting his ass too and making everything you know so it was an honor to be a part of this amy nemedy the floor is yours Hi, Darby. So far, you have had several very unique and different matches in your run as TNT champion. Coming off of the cinematic match with Sting, what are you looking to accomplish when you go up against Scorpio Sky for the TNT championship? See, that's the biggest thing is I'm the TNT champion, and I want to remember, you know, I want to remind everybody about that. And, you know, even though the TNT championship wasn't on the line tonight, I want to remind everybody why I am the TNT champion in the first place. So Scorpio Sky, you know, that's going to be the first step into showing everybody why I deserve to be champion. Because a lot of people, you know, I see the messages and everybody says, well, Darby's not defending it. Well, no shit, I wasn't defending it because I was stuck with Team Taz and having to work with that, you know. So, you know, there was a lot of work put into that. And I want to remind everybody why I'm TNT champion. And, uh, it all starts against Scorpio Sky. Thanks, Darby. This next question will be our last one for Darby. Um, Scott Fishman of TV Insider, you're up. Hey, Darby. Uh, question. So it seems like you and Sting have formed quite a bond. I mean, what was it like for you to kind of get to know him these last couple of months and and kind of kind of pick his brain? You know, it was good. I like I said earlier, having him come into AEW having a lot of trust in me 
and a lot of faith in me meant the world. And for us to have this big match, this big blow off, uh, it, it meant everything that he trusted me with his career because coming in here is no small task and there was a lot of trust put into it and you know, it meant the world to me. So I respect the hell out of Sting.